Good evening. Four more homes are destroyed by lava on the Big Island today. We'll have that story and more when our Channel 2 News is up next. Ho, ho, ho. Have we got a holiday gift for you. Now, when you buy any one of our new Nissan cars or trucks, we offer you financing as low as 2.4 or rebates up to $600. Holiday cash to spend any way you want. This is a limited time offer only at Honolulu Nissan, Airport Nissan, Kaimuki Nissan, and at the new Dillingham Auto Mart. Buy one of our new Nissans now and truly have a happy holiday. BJ is cleaning out all 86 Simmons bedding and hide-to-bed sofas this week only. It's our final bedding sale of the year. Save over $200 on the Beautyrest commemorative from $177 each piece. Save over $120 on a Maxipedic set. The Simplicity is on sale at half price at only $75. Choose from these three hide-to-bed sofas from $399 to $599 and save up to $300. It's BJ's final and best betting sale of 86, but hurry, it all ends Sunday. I can't live without it. It makes me laugh. It saves me money. And oh, the gossip. What are they talking about? Mary! I can't live without Dr. Joyce's brother. Great comics and Andy Rooney. He's funny. Those bargains from Safeway, Times, Foodman, and PNC. Roger Ebert may review the movies, but I know the latest gossip. Midweek! Plus sports with Dave Wiggins, The Right Price with Larry Price. Midweek, everybody's reading it. Finally, the grand furniture event many of you have been anticipating is here. CSWO's classic annual year-end clearance. Hundreds of discontinued items have been specially priced for this annual event. We need room for new items arriving daily. So this is your opportunity to save on Hawaii's finest furniture. Plus, you make no payments for six full months. CSWO's unique discontinued furniture styles at clearance prices. Plus, no payments for six full months. Now through Sunday only. Tanaka quits as school superintendent. Kilauea destroys four more homes and the Star of the Sea Church is threatened. And baseball's Joey Desa from Damien High School dies in a car crash. The Channel 2 News with Barbara Tanabe, Hawaii's number one rated newscast. Good evening and thank you for joining us. All is quiet tonight at the Kalapana Garden subdivision. Officials say the lava flow there has now slowed to a virtual halt. But they still say the danger is far from over. The lava can surge forward again and destroy more homes like it did overnight. That's because output at the vent continues to be strong, up to three quarters of a million cubic yards of molten rock a day. It has been that way at the southeast outbreak since July. The lava has moved about seven blocks into the subdivision. The molten rock is following the same general course down Lokelani Avenue, the community's main drag. Early this morning, four more homes were destroyed by the onslaught of lava. That brings to 15 the number of homes here lost to Pele, the fire goddess. Residents today were allowed back to their homes only for emergencies. Some of the people are still holding out for some miracle that would spare their homes and the rest of the subdivision. Nestor Garcia today heard their story. Where Pele has already left her mark on the land, there are offerings or ho'okupu to appease the goddess of fire. These are gifts wrapped in tea leaves, one a bottle of gin, the other a polished ornament or tool. And as the river of molten rock approached Lynn Dotson's home, there were these roses laid on the doorstep. Dotson came back one last time to take away what she refused to give up to the lava. I thought I was going to skirt and go Lucky Lani, not go through this block. I thought I was going to skirt the subdivision, but it didn't work out that way. I see you saved the last bit of furniture today. Yeah, my Christmas tree is still in there. <laughs> still amidst the destruction, Kalapana residents today went on buying their lunches and groceries at the corner drive-in and store. The storekeeper believes Pele will spare his place, but if she keeps coming... He'll leave everything for Pele. The storekeeper's faith extends across the street to the Star of the Sea painted church. The works of art here go back 50 years, and in all that time, 
The church has survived the salt air, high surf, and the 1977 lava flow. And now Gladys Akui believes her church will be spared again. Because the church has always served its purpose. It has always been here through the high waters, through the whole lot of eruption. The pastor also believes his church will survive, and besides, moving the building now would only cause irreparable damage. It's almost certain uh, that if we tried to move that church, that the uh, walls would fall down. A miracle during Christmas week. Nestor Garcia, Channel 2 News, Kalapana. There is one more series of spectacular pictures we'd like to show you today from the volcano. This is a natural skylight into one of the lava tubes. It lets us look down hundreds of feet into the lava river as it rushes down the mountain. The skylight is seven and a half miles from Kalapana at about 2,100 feet above sea level. Scientists at the Volcano Observatory say more than 500,000 cubic yards of lava are pouring out of the volcano every day and there is no sign of this phase coming to an end. Francis Hatanaka stepped down. Police call. 